So in this video, I want to talk about primary productivity. All organisms on Earth are composed of organic compounds, organic molecules, and the primary productivity is the biological process of going from abiotic carbon, for example, carbon dioxide, to organic molecules to make up uh, the bodies. So I'll draw an, an example organic molecule of uh, acetic acid. And this process of going from inorganic carbon to organic molecules requires adding um, hydrogen atoms and electrons. If we look at the oxidation state of carbon in CO2, it's plus four, whereas in organic molecules, it averages about zero. Sometimes a little bit uh, more negative, uh, depending on the organic molecule. So the, the basic process uh, is to go from CO2 and then add protons and add electrons to produce organic matter. So we will just do a uh, simple one here, um, which is half of an acetic acid. So I'll actually, I can put down the acetic acid. I can make this a two, this a two, and then this would need to be four, four hydrogens, okay? So if we're gonna balance this out, we have another oxygen on this side, because we have two on this side and only one so far. And so we can make water as the easiest option here. So this would require uh, four uh, protons and four electrons to make it charge balance. So the basic process of for an organism to convert carbon into a useful organic molecule from carbon dioxide is to add protons and electrons. So the organism has to get those uh, protons or electrons in some way. And the most common way that um, on Earth for these to be produced is through photosynthesis. So we have oxygenic photosynthesis. Oxygenic photosynthesis produces oxygen, and that's the one we're familiar with that takes water plus light, and it converts that into four protons plus four electrons. I need two waters to do this, plus molecular oxygen. So it takes two waters to get the, the molecular oxygen. These protons and electrons are supplied to the reduction of the carbon in CO2 to produce the organic molecules. There are other types of photosynthesis. Uh, for example, uh, photosynthesis can oxidize sulfide. And in this particular case, it's sulfide plus light goes to elemental sulfur plus two protons plus two electrons, right? So that's half as many uh, in that process. Okay. There are also chemical reactions that can provide protons and electrons. And if it doesn't involve light, we call it chemosynthesis, chemical synthesis. Right. And chemical synthesis can work, for example, with hydrogen and um, through various processes. This can break down into two protons plus two 
electrons, again, producing those protons and electrons to reduce the carbon um, in the same way. Okay. So the key, the key point is that life to have, needs to have these protons and electrons to create the organic molecules, which are the building blocks uh, for life. Thanks for watching.